So now we put all of those carbs into the mouth, also known as the oral cavity, and this is where digestion begins, mechanically from chewing, as well as chemically from some of the enzymes that are found in the saliva. And just because this is really cool, if I turn this sagittal head dissection over, you can see the largest salivary gland, the parotid gland, and even another salivary gland called the submandibular gland. But then we're gonna swallow those carbs and they'll pass down through the esophagus and enter into the stomach. The stomach will act as a muscular blender, mixing everything together, but specifically for carbs, the next major part of digestion occurs in the following portion of the digestive tract called the small intestine. The small intestine contains specific enzymes that break down specific carbohydrates. For example, there's an enzyme called sucrase, which will break down the sucrose into the individual glucose and fructose molecules. We also have lactase, which is the enzyme that can break down lactose into the individual glucose and galactose molecules. And as an FYI, someone who doesn't make as much lactase, that person would have limitations on how much lactose they could digest, and therefore could develop lactose intolerance. And so then much of that lactose won't get broken down and therefore won't get absorbed. So then it just moves down into the large intestine and can eventually cause bloating, abdominal pain, and potentially really stinky gas and diarrhea.